If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. In a covert biological weapons laboratory in the Philippines, scientists work on a serum called Death One, which reanimates the dead. When Dr. Alan Holder and his assistant Norma experiment on a deceased human test subject, the corpse reanimates and reacts violently, prompting Dr. Holder to resign from the project. As he prepares to surrender the serum to the military, a group of rival gunmen ambushes the facility, with the lone surviving criminal absconding with Death One. During the ensuing chase, gunfire breaches the container with the serum. Dr. Holder initially shows no concern about the virus escaping in such a manner due to its inability to survive more than half a minute in the presence of oxygen until he learns that the criminal accidentally touched the serum and became infected. General Morton and his soldiers arrive at the Sweet River Resort, where the criminal had fled, to find the criminal had infected a bellhop, killed a maid, and cut off his own hand in a failed attempt to stop the infection spread before finally succumbing to the infection. Morton orders the patrons and staff to be killed and buried in a mass grave and the criminal's remains are transported to the facility's incinerator. As Dr. Holder and Norma fear, the ashes disperse into the air, infecting an entire flock of nearby birds. Meanwhile, a trio of G.I.S. on vacation are looking for girls and encounter a nearby bus, whose passengers include David, Nancy, Carol, Leah, Susanna, Jane. Jane's boyfriend Tom, and bus driver Joe. Nearby, a tourist named Patricia and her boyfriend Glenn discover the dead birds, who reanimate and attack them. The birds assault the bus while the G.I.S. attempt to evacuate it and Leah is bitten. Patricia and Glenn stop at a nearby garage but flee when a machete-wielding zombie attacks Patricia and the garage explodes after she sets the zombie afire. The G.I.S. and the bus party stop at the now-deserted Sweet River Resort. The men find a crate of guns left behind by the soldiers and begin fortifying the resort while Carol and one of the G.I.S. Bo. drive off to seek help. Quote. When their car breaks down. Carol goes looking for water but is mauled by zombies and becomes zombified after her legs are torn off. Bo flees when more zombies emerge, eventually joining up with Patricia and Glenn. Glenn dies and reanimates as a zombie on the way to the hospital, killing Bo while Patricia escapes. Single quote. Back at the lab, Dr. Holder and his team start work on an antidote to death one. Meanwhile, Morton's men initiate an operation to eradicate the zombies, now identified by the codename Locusts, referencing the zombies' behavior pattern of swarming from town to town. Single quote. Meanwhile, Jane and Tom are ambushed and killed by a zombie's head in the kitchen freezer at the hotel. Leah reanimates kills and devours Susanna and almost kills Nancy before being thrown off the balcony and killed. Kenny and Roger encounter Patricia as she arrives to break the news about Bo's demise. But zombies swarm the hotel. Before fleeing, Kenny, Roger, Patricia, Nancy, and Joe kill many zombies by using their newly acquired weapons. But David is devoured in the skirmish. The next morning, the survivors encounter some of Morton's soldiers, who kill Joe. The other four escape, as the final stage of Morton's zombie eradication begins and Dr. Holder expresses his fear that the 
Atmospheric infection may not be confined to the island. Arriving at the nearby hospital, the four encounter a pregnant woman in labor. As Nancy helps deliver the newborn, Patricia battles Zombie Glenn and beheads him, while Kenny and Roger battle Morton's cleanup crew. Nancy is killed by the zombified newborn when it escapes the mother's womb and latches onto her face. Meanwhile, Kenny, Roger, and Patricia escape to find more zombies. They make it to a helicopter. But only Kenny and Patricia escape. As Roger is attacked by the zombies while trying to join them and is killed by the cleanup crew. Quote. Blue Heart. The DJ who provided commentary for much of the film. Dedicates his next record to all the undead around the world. Having been infected himself. Upon hearing the broadcast. Kenny decides to return to the island, assuring Patricia that he intends to save what's left of humanity. Single quote.